EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to historic Baltimore, Maryland and m t Bank Stadium. Coming up, we've got a good one here in the AFC as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Baltimore Ravens. Taken at the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. The Chiefs offense set to go. At their own 20-yard line. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Now second and seven from the 23. Now here's Mahomes. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco, 77 yards. And the Chiefs are on the board first on the road here in Baltimore. Well, if they didn't get the wake-up call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two, end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. From his end zone, here comes Justice Hill. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 23. They'll run with Edwards here to begin the drive. Stiff armed him. And they work this well upfield across the 35. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Thought they were going to have him down a lot earlier, but he was able to shed that tackle. Shows the value of the weight room, doesn't it? Shows the value of the attitude when you run the football. Don't go down easily, break a few tackles, gain some additional yardage. They'll go back to Edwards on first down, and they'll get this just to the 47, one yard gain. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Yeah, oftentimes at that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game. And you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. Jackson, options out left. The quick, there he goes left side. And they do finally get him, but he makes it all the way to the six. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. Well, you know, most quarterbacks, when you talk about their big play ability, you talk about the arm, but this, an absolutely huge play with a leg. 
and also with his mind because he had to see this play develop in order to make the decision to keep it and run. And how about him looking up and seeing the C's part for him once he got past the line of scrimmage? My first thought, I think he can go all the way, and I'm trying not to take over your call of this play, partner. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead because now the defense can't dictate with pressure. They're getting... They'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Patrick Ricard taking it in from two yards out. And the Ravens are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. And when the smaller guy can't power it across the goal line, Charles, sometimes you need to go with a fullback. They did. It worked. What's that thing about force and mass? How's that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Force equals mass times acceleration. Oh, that's big time stuff. That's, that's from the same guy. The apple dropped in his head. <laughs> the kicks away this fielded right at the goal line a solid return pretty good field position they'll start at the 32 Kansas City taking the field for their second drive this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated grooves remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense they were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field and frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Well, this one complete. It's Rasheed Rice. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the the different situations ball hardly hit the ground and I thought yeah he might be locked in for this one Pacheco gets it up the gut fighting his way down to about the 35 yard line Two yards on the pickup, it'll be second down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Quick throw caught out wide by Valdez Scantling. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And this almost intercepted. Not sure he saw the free safety that time. But lucky incomplete. That'll bring up fourth down. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback when there's extra defenders on the field. Dime package. 
coverage. Lots of speed. No space to fit in the football. Butker's kick here is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks can tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. Hill going to think better of bringing this one out, and the drive will start at the 25. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Jackson, options out left. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race inside the 20. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. It's a scintillating run by Lamar Jackson. And the Ravens are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Well, we've certainly seen this before, CD. No one can quite electrify a crowd like Lamar Jackson. And really don't know what else to say other than that was special right there. I think you pretty much said it all, but I go back to what you said about electrifying the crowd. He's also electrifying us, and we're calling the game. This guy's simply sensational. Kick it away following the touchdown. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. And the Chiefs offense ready to go again. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker try to move field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. They go play fake. Mahomes. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. His second catch, this one not quite as dynamic as his first, and it's second down. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing, but in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. A run by Pacheco on second down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Pretty straightforward play there by the linebacker. He saw the run, went with 
a straight ahead pursuit and dumped him behind the line of scrimmage. Well, come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. It's his first catch, and it'll be good for 15 at a first down. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Mahomes now on first down. And throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this season for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Now a second and ten. They fake the give. Now Mahomes throwing the out route here. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 26. A good pick up there, 26 yards. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Second and ten. To throw, it's Mahomes. That ball caught, it's Rice. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They'll run here with Pacheco. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback it makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Edwards Hilaire. Calling a gain of two as they're knocking on the door now. Third and goal. Not the kind of game that will go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of game that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL and Clyde Edwards-Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength, he's going to get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. About a half yard from the end zone, third and goal. Pacheco. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Can this defense hold them out? Here we go now, fourth and goal from the two. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. Incomplete, they cannot convert, and they turn it over. They try to throw on fourth and goal from the two, and the Ravens come up big down at their own goal line. The drive starts with a carry by Edwards. And he'll get this up past the five to the seven-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And that run, that changes the whole mentality about the drive right there. They were starting on their own two-yard line. They just wanted enough space to punt the football successfully. Now they're talking about putting together a drive. Flowers going to go in motion right. He's going to handle it on the touch pass. Oh, this one, that may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. 
second quarter now from Baltimore. It's the Ravens in possession. They'll come up facing third and five as they've got it as we resume action. And they'll find the open man. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds after getting this across the 15. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone to open downfield and only cover for some. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And they will have the football deep in enemy territory all the way at the 10-yard line. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. The fumble on first down. Now here's second down. A handoff running left. It's Hill. And he'll lose yardage here. Back to the 15. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. On third down, Jackson. That is caught. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before it's taken down. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Jackson throwing complete there to Flowers. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Now second and three. They go play action now. Jackson is throw taken in by Isaiah Likely. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 42. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage, and that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. And they run the option here on first and 10, and holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Well, he's had success running the football in this one, and that's undeniable, but that time the defense was on to it. And partner, I think the more you see him play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. Solid running on the carry, but still brought down just inside of the 40. 42 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot in third down. And they move this all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on third down sets up a first and goal. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. They'll run here with Edwards. And a short pickup there down to about the nine. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. To throw is Jackson. That is caught. It's Bateman for a Raven touchdown. 
Long touchdown there. And the Ravens drive the entire length of the field, 99 yards for the score. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. changes hands they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right so problems compounding themselves here on the return they just give up the touchdown and now they lose the football yeah partner things are starting to unravel a little bit for them right in front of our eyes they're going to be looking for some answers and quickly Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 22 they'll start the drive here with Pacheco and yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Here's second and ten. Mahomes going to throw. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Tony. And that's good for a gain of six. And it brings up third and five now. He's a gain of six. And it's third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. And this one nearly picked off. Kind of surprising to see defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. Yes, sir. How about an out boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Here now is second and ten, again from the 41. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Justin Matabike. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop it. Well, he was really focused downfield, but there was really no viable options. The coverage was too good. And the defense really quickened the tempo of that play with their pass rush because there was nowhere for him to go with the football. The only place he ended up, down on the ground. Looking for Kelsey there, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Marcus Williams. And they take over. They'll set up shot at the 46-yard line. After the interception, here's Jackson. He's short in there, caught by Lightly. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second and five. Jackson going to keep it running right. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. A gain of eight on the keeper and a first down. And this is one of those plays 
that if you can use it to keep the chains moving, it's a good play. And not only that, it tends to tamp down the pass rushers because they have to recognize this play and stay at home. The quarterback uses it well. Read option, keeps it, and picks up a first down with some nice running. Edwards now on first and 10. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. A loss of two brings up second and 12 at the Chiefs 35 yard line. Jackson now. The short one there, caught by Likely. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. What do they have for this? Third and 11. Jackson. Second back right around the 41 yard line. The Mississippi State man Chris Jones with a sack there. At that time, finally a measure of revenge as they get him down behind the line. It almost Justin felt like relief, didn't it? Because with the success he's had throughout this game, you'd almost expect him to get free and pick up 10 to 15 every time he takes off. Not in that case, that has to feel good for the defense. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. See James, he will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. The Chiefs going to go back on offense here late in this first half. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Here's Mahomes to throw. Got an open man. It's Melville no Scantling. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a thorn short yardage call through the offensive coordinator. You like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Here now, third and a yard. Throwing now is Mahomes. Man open, it's Tony. He's got it. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one.
Mahomes now on first down. Looking deep downfield. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. If I'm making excuses, and I am, sometimes the sun can be difficult on a ball like that. That looked like it was going to be right there, but it's in and out of his hand. And a potential big play goes by the wayside. Mahomes to throw once more. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that the last drive instead of throwing the interception. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now here's Moen. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. Well, they came up with points in their first two possessions, but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive. The defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit. Might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession. And likely time for one final play here in the half, so they will go for it on fourth down. Final shot before the half for Mahomes. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, this taken in at the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep to And now off to the races, down the right side. He's on his way. And on the way in for the Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson. Touchdown. And the Ravens come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Tucker now to add the point after. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And we see James, he will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. The pass complete on the crossing route. This is Tony with it. Down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. And right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Finding room at midfield. And he's got it across the 47-yard line. That one good for 12 yards into Kansas City first. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. 
And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. On play action, it's Mahomes. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now for getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Mahomes. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Patrick Queen got in there to stick him. He gets the sack. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Flushed out right. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. And, partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. It's a loss of four on the first down play. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. One yard is the loss. They back up even further to a third and 15. I think it might be time to move to a different section of the playbook there because back-to-back -back runs, both for loss. Now they have third and long coming up. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Jackson. And oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. The Ravens send their punter out now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. And now here comes Kansas City. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Just what they need, a lecture from me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Headed straight, it's Pacheco. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. A gain of just one. Now a pause, and there's an injured Raven in need of some assistance. Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. 
Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. On first and ten, here's Pacheco. And just good downhill running there as he'll take 15-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think... And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Adafi Owe picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Oh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now, and if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face a challenge of stopping this opposing offense, and they've done so with ease. Mahomes firing complete, and he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. On third and long, it's Mahomes. The throw for Tony is intercepted. Picked off by Arthur Mallette. And the Ravens will take over here at their own 14-yard line. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. An idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football. We're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's not locked in, that means everyone's locked in. Because to me, it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Now an option play on second down. The quick feet by Jackson. And he's going to get this one across the three-yard line. So not his arm, but hurting him with his legs. A gain of 19 on the keeper and a first down. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people are worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Again, it's Edwards. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Third down at six. Throwing is Jackson. That is caught. There he goes left side. Touchdown. Rashad Bateman, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. As his guys were able to push that lead out a bit further. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that'll increase their lead to 28.
Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. They were trying to create some space to run. They created the penalty. And you work on it so much. You work on it so hard. But it's tough to simulate game speed and practice. And that often runs you into a penalty. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 from back at their own 10-yard line. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And they'll get him down right around the 11-yard line. They'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. Second and nine. To throw, it's Mahomes. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Tony. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. They right, call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. There's a nice pickup right there. And after watching that play, I'm thinking about all the lost opportunities that they've had so far in this game. But right now, just focus on continuing to move the ball the way they did on the last play. On first down, Mahomes. Right back to Tony. He's got another one. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. A lot of ground left to make up, obviously. A lopsided contest, and we're already in the third quarter. And they won't get it all back in one play or one drive. That's cliche, but it's true, Charles. If they can just maybe get plays like that and get a little momentum built, they can get the scoreboard a little closer. And can you add some blinders to the cliche, meaning... Keep these guys from looking at the scoreboard because that doesn't help them at all right now. Their focus needs to be on finishing every drive with points and playing mistake-free football from here on out. And he's been one of their few bright spots here this afternoon. And as you pointed out, so far he's gotten his. That's not been the issue at all. But the teammates, the other guys, they've been shut down. That's why the defensive guys have to feel pretty good even though he's over 100 yards. Yeah, he topped 100 with that last catch. They'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. Three quarters in the books. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Baltimore. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. And Mahomes misfires again, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Roquan Smith, and he's just across midfield and down at the 49-yard line. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. And I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off the game. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces, and, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after him, trying to keep them from locking down a game. And he lost the football, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. He was trying to do anything he could to get that final little bit for the first down. Instead, he lost the ball. Yeah, and he was short of the first down, but not by much. Trying his best, as you noted, to get there. Sometimes that extra effort can cost you. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Up the middle, here's Edwards. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. And 
that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. From the 33, here's a second and five. They run once more with Edwards. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs 28. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Escaping the pressure right. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. And Brandon, this is the time of the game when Jackson could really take over. He's got the defense's legs a little bit tired. He's got them on the run. Yeah, this defense looks gassed, and you're exactly right. Second half with the lead, this is when Lamar Jackson seems to thrive. And a short go about the nine. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. Again, it'll be Edwards. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. <laughs> I have to laugh a little bit because he actually handed it off. I thought with the two touchdown passes he's thrown in this one already, he'd go ahead and fling and try and get a third one. Yeah, now from this spot on third down, I think he'd probably throw in here. Yeah, I don't think there's any question about it. They, they won't even send in a running play here, I don't believe. I think they go ahead and try and throw it for a touchdown. There's Flowers. He's got it. Touchdown, Ravens. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens have sewn this one up as they add to their lead here in the fourth. Well, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back to the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we haven't been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. Kick it away following the touchdown. And we see James, he will now return it and they'll bring it out to the 25. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers you would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. Mahomes now to throw. And he drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest.
Mahomes going to throw. Ball oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. That's taken on the 25. 42-yard punt, six on the return. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. You just kind of feel for the defense right now. This deficit, they have not been able to stop them the entire game, Charles. And some hands on hips, some long faces out there on the defensive side. Oh, they're like, oh my gosh, we got to face these guys again here. Yeah, people don't understand how hard it is when you're on the side that's being dominated to keep your head up and continue to play hard. And that's what they're going through right now. Trying to find that pride inside of them to allow them to continue to fight, even though they are down huge in this game. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines. Let's close this one out. No gain on the play there. Second down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time to make sure you get in shape. And a solid run here as a pick his way down to the 42-yard line. And that'll go for a gain of 18 on the keeper. First down. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball. But the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Here's Edwards again on second down. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. 96 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. the middle it's Edwards and he'll power ahead but only for about three yards second down coming up I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W in the mind of the play caller all you want to hear is tick 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 and they'll come up second and seven From the gun, they go to Edwards. And they get him behind the line, so that short gain on first down quickly negated. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Well, they've had success on the ground on this drive, and that makes a defense more likely to overcommit to stop the run as they did on that play. But keep in mind, it makes them susceptible to play-action passes as well. Oh, the motion comes too late, and this is going to be a delay. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. 
Out of the gun, they give to Edwards. And he's going to get this to about the 20, but that is well short of what he needed. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. It's fourth down. And well, they could just run this clock out, but here is the field goal unit on fourth down. This will be a 37-yard attempt. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them.